Hi everybody, Joshua here, the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. Today's video will be a tutorial on how to play Last Hour by Elliot Smith on the piano. This will be my version, so take what you like, don't use what you don't. So let's get right into it. Let's see here. We're in the key of D flat. So we have a D flat major chord, right? You can see how I'm voicing it here. My melody starts on F, just walking up becomes like a D flat major seven. And then I add that G natural in there. It's kind of like, what it, you know, kind of like that kind of sound going back to D major, right? And go down to B flat minor seven. Same kind of melody in the right hand. We have some moving chords here. We have A flat major, G, excuse me, E flat over G, G flat. You wouldn't have to do that giant stretch in the left hand. You could just do an octave or fifth. Then we're gonna, after that G flat, we're going to go to B flat minor again. Back to D flat. I, I walked the bass up there. You wouldn't have to do that. And then our melody goes to E flat. We're going to do that over an A flat chord. Excuse me. A flat to G flat. It's like a G flat major seven because that melody note up there. F. B flat minor. D flat. We're gonna go back to A flat again. G flat. Repeat this much again, right? These these four chords. F. B flat minor. A flat. It's like an E flat seven over G. And then we're gonna walk from the E flat to G flat chord. So we have G flat major, and then it's gonna turn to G flat minor. Our melody's around there. A, going to A flat. D flat. And this is kinda like this little turnaround, it's like D flat. G flat over D flat, back to D flat. And there's a couple different ways to do it. You know, you could kind of like make it really obvious, like D flat to G flat. You could just change a couple notes. You, know, you could like just do that G flat in there. You could just change those notes. You know, experiment with like the voicings and how many notes you want to add into those. But basically, it's D flat, G flat over D flat, back to D flat, and then we have an F. That's kind of our signifying chord that we're going back to the that progression all over again. So let me play through it slowly. You can kind of watch the chords on the screen, watch my fingers. So now we come to our solo progression. It's gonna be B flat minor. Now you can play whatever you want using kind of the, or like a B flat minor scale. You know, I, I experiment with some notes and some scales here. I'll kind of show you what I'm playing. I'm kind of matching what Elliot did in his guitar solo. Sorry, B flat minor goes to F over A, going to A flat. E flat over G, then G flat, F. And then I'm gonna go back to the B flat again, B flat minor, to D flat, A flat, G flat, F. B flat minor, D flat over A flat. It's like an E flat over G, and then um, we're gonna, just make it like a full E flat chord if you want. I was kind of hanging out there for a little bit. 
We're gonna go to G flat minor. It's kind of like that melody line is brought out a little bit from the verse. Going to A flat, D flat. Here's our little G flat over D flat turnaround. F, right? Something played that much of the solo repeating it without stopping to talk, so you can kind of like get a feel for the flow of it. So we have our last verse here. You can kind of see what I'm doing with my fingers here if you've been watching, you know. Uh, I don't know, sometimes I use that ninth there. It might be too pretty. Yeah, use your judgment, right? So I'm kind of outlining chords, right? Adding a little, adding a little bit of movement and, and doing these fifth kind of sounds. You know, alternating, bum, 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 bum. kind of like outlining the chords, right? Flowing, but flowing, 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 right? So I'm kind of like adding some movement there by making the notes flow and move to, to a spot. the difference you know between having those lower notes and then when I come to that G flat minor um, it really pulls the energy back like doing this little voicing here um, okay so our ending little line here is it's like a D flat major B flat minor you can kind of can't keep like your voicing in the right hand and then there's a D flat uh, augmented over A, A flat, D flat major. So let me play that much. And then I kind of rolled the, and then added that bass note there. You could do any number of things ending that. Um, take a look at my versions. There should be a muted acoustic version, an unmuted acoustic version, a synthesia version, and then now this uh, tutorial. So out of that, I hope there's enough information there to kind of like take take the chords and the melody and the song. And like I always say in my videos, make it your own. I would love it if you could come up with a version and share it with me if you're able to come up with something that you don't mind sharing. So <clears throat> the point of all this is just to keep Elliot's music alive. I love these chord progressions. Absolutely beautiful. You know, incredibly sad <laughs> songs that are so beautiful. But, you know, you can kind of see that some of the things I'm doing is spreading the chords out sometimes. Other times, you know, doing just octaves, doing the tenth kind of spread. You know, it's going to depend on your hand. It's going to depend on what your piano sounds like. Um, just try different things, you know, think about how the difference between like playing a chord like this versus, you know, rolling that D flat, you know, the movement between chords. Walking the bass note up between that B flat minor seven to the D flat, you know, thinking of places where you want to add movement between the notes and you know, taking the chord You know, like, so these are all just, it's all just different versions of D flat major, right? But, you know, hitting the chords is different than doing this kind of thing and picking and then adding some 
you know, adding some different notes in there, et cetera, et cetera. And I know it's easier said than done, but I'm hoping you can kind of watch this video and watch my hands and come up with some ideas of your own. So anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful. I want to say a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel every month, throwing a few bucks in here and there. It, it really means a lot. It helps a lot. You know, a lot of people ask me to put more music on Spotify, but those licenses, they, you know, they cost money every year. So the more people I can get on Patreon, the more people I can get on Patreon, you know, and the more songs I can put online and, and pay for those licenses and all that. Also, it's easier to find time for this um, for this channel when when I can make a little bit of my my money back for the time I invest in it. So I, a big a big thank you to the patrons who are supporting the channel, everybody else for watching and sharing the videos. And I will catch everyone next time. Take care.